Hey guys, what's up? It's Tech Teenager, and this is um, an unof like it's an official jailbreak for 4.1, but it's not the Shadowland or the Shatter jailbreak that I've been talking about to all my users. To, um, to actually explain it, I'll open up Muscle Nerd's Twitter, and uh, actually on his website it's the Red Snow's 0.9.6 beta. It jailbreaks the iPhone 3G and the iPod Touch 2G, non MC. So if you don't know what MC is, um, it's just a model number. It's the updated iPod Touch 2G, which was shipped later on to check. All you have to do is go to your iPod Touch, go to settings, and uh, go to about, and then you'll find your model number. Or whoops, wrong one. So pretty much, if you've ever jailbroken, you'd, you'd probably need to know this information. But you'd go to about, and then in um, in your actual model, mine is an MB. If yours starts with MC, this is undoable at the time. But um, like I said, the Shatter Jailbreak is coming out. This is just a quick and dirty method. Um, it uses the same method that's been done on all the past ones, but it's not as glitchy as uh, the other ones before it. So uh, pretty much, I'm just going to get started and just tell you a little bit more facts. Right now, it is Mac only at the moment. Um, when it is when it is released to Windows, I'll post some links. So just, just make sure to check the post, which reminds me, um, all the links that are mentioned in this video are on this website, my website. And so uh, there's a lot. There's a little bit more helpful information. Um, just gives you the downloads and uh, the firmware downloads as well. So you got the four. It also does 4.0, which you can find the downloads on here. But uh, the main appeal for this um, jailbreak is that it jailbreaks 4.1, and both of those can be found on my website. So um, and when it, when it gets Windows support, it will be updated here as well. So I have downloaded Red Snow. And you see, I have it right here on the desktop. So I'm just going to open that up. And I also have the iPod um, 2.1 4.1 firmware, so uh, that's that's the firmware that's going to be running on here. It's Apple's official firmware. You're going to need that. Okay, so I'm going to browse for it. Open it up. It'll process the firmware. And this is another just point that it makes sure and checks you don't have an MC model. So I do not. IPSW successfully identified. Click next. So here's the point where you can um, choose some options that you like. You can install Cydia, you can do verbose boot, custom boot logo, custom recovery logo, you can do multitasking, which I do not recommend for these two devices. Both iPod Touch 2G and iPhone 3G immensely suffer from um, the newer iOS 4, so uh, I don't recommend it. You can enable battery percentage and all that stuff. So I'm, I'm not going to install Cydia, I'm just going to enable home screen wallpaper. So I'm going to go ahead and press next. And this is the point where it's going to tell you to go ahead and put it in DFU mode. So uh, really quick, just to show you what that is. Um, it doesn't matter if you get the timing right on with this thing, because this is only a timer. It's not you don't have to be checked like on these intervals. So just just get ready. Put your put your hand next to your device and press next. And you want to hold your hold the power button down for ten seconds. And then release the power button and keep holding the home button. And just keep holding this until it flashes on the screen. You'll see it'll pop up. Yep, there we go. Okay. So the screen just flashed, and that means it's working. And just perform the initial ups uh, <laughs> exploit. <laughs> now it's waiting for reboot. And here's what's actually going to do the jailbreak. You see right here, it's downloading the jailbreak data. And it's actually done. That was very fast. So right now I'm just waiting for my device to catch up. And uh, actually, if you want to go read um, his wiki thing, you can do that. I'll put a link on my side as well. But uh, really, oh, I, this is another important thing. If you use an unlock, don't use this jailbreak wait for um, Pwnage tool, because uh, this 4.1 removes or updates the baseband and uh, Red Snow or they don't have, currently have a, um, a version of four, uh, that jailbreak 4.1 that also um, installs an unlock so just if you use an unlock just go ahead and wait on this so um, j just to let you know you don't want to be losing that because that's pretty important
Okay, so it actually just finished. And uh, you see right here, I have my home screen wallpaper. And uh, everything that I, that I just enabled with this jailbreak. So uh, just to prove it to you, I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> but I promise I am running 4.1. And this is an iPod Touch 2G. So we'll go to About. Version 4.1. So that's it guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Stay updated for the Shadow Jailbreak for iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, and uh, iPod Touch 3rd Gen and 4th Gen. So uh, thanks guys for watching, I'll see you later.